In many ways, San Diego native Zachary Svida is like most teenagers his age. He enjoys spending his free time playing video games. He's working on passing his driver's license test. But it's his story between these lines that truly makes Zach unique. I started when I was two years old. I just loved holding the racket in my hand, hitting a yellow ball. Every single day I'd pick him up from daycare, he'd say, Daddy Tennis, Daddy Tennis. So we kept coming out, just kind of hitting the ball around, and it just went from there. We just always were on the tennis court. It was just something that we did to bring the family together and, and just have fun. There was really no goal. My goal was just for him to love the game and just have a blast playing. Get up, get up. Amazingly, he was not only making contact with the ball, but he was hitting it over. I approached his dad and I said, look, I've never seen a two-year-old a, hit the ball like that consistently, and B, focus. And if he can do that, um, I'd love to be able to work with him and, and coach him. Nice footwork, Zach. Everything was based on his decisions. He was 11 and he won a 14-year-old designated in California. He didn't want to play anymore. He just said, I'm done. He goes, I'll just train. I don't want to do tournaments anymore, junior tournaments. So we let him do it his way. You know, it was a risk. We heard, there's no way this is gonna work. There's not enough match play. You know, it was mostly negative. When he steps on court with somebody, he's probably not even a quarter the amount of match play experience as his opponent at this point. He would spend a lot of time at University of San Diego. I started hitting with the college guys at like, I would say eight or nine. We actually had a college guy living with us for a few years. That definitely helped like a ton. Our pathway was always if we train him to play like a pro when he's maybe eight, nine, even if he doesn't go in, if he understands kind of the mentality, then hopefully he'll blossom into that when he gets to 16, 17, 18. The small picture meant nothing. We used to ask Zach, do you want to take the number one ranking in the 12s or do you want to move up and play in the 14s when you're 10? He goes, I'll just play the 14s because the worst thing you can be is number one in the 12s. <laughs> I think that's probably the worst thing you can be. After almost five years of playing not a single junior tournament, Zach decided the time was right and entered the top national event in the country. I asked him if he wanted to play Kalamazoo. You know, it's our national championship. You can play the 18s or you can play the 16s. I actually didn't want to play. It came down to like the last week and I got a wild card from the USTA. It so goes, well, if I do it, I'll do the 18s because if I do win it, I'd be able to you know, play in the US Open. He did well, he did really well. Surprisingly, um, came through and won the tournament. It was amazing, I think I think I actually had tears in my eyes. It was really incredible. Some of you may not know, this is Zachary's first time in Kalamazoo. So we have to look in the book and see his first time ever in Kalamazoo to win the 18th championship. I had no idea like how I was gonna do. I went out there saying like, okay, I hope I could get a few games. A big backhand from Zach Zvida. The first five games of the match, you got up 5-0. Wow, that dropped in. We are pretty excited for him, but we knew that the nerves were gonna start hitting him pretty hard thinking about it. And then he got the second set, 7-6. That's just well done from the 16-year-old. And then at two all, he was having a full body cramp, his thumb, his hands cramped, his back was cramping. But knowing Zach, he was gonna lay on the court and he wasn't gonna default that match. Wow! How about that touch? That was amazing. I'm really proud of him that he actually got to be in the US Open at 16 years old. It showed him that he can be there, and it's probably given him a lot of confidence to know that that was his first ever ATP match, and he almost beat a tour veteran. I definitely took some positives out of that for sure, but I was so sore for like a week. Having such a strong result at the US Open at only 16 years old, Zach also caught the eye of many of the world's top pros. In Indian Wells, some of the pros started asking him to hit when they got there, and the first pro he hit with was John Isner, who he practices with a lot. We're really lucky that the best-ranked American guy is on our doorstep and he's taken Zach under his wing. I knew I was going to practice with John to be his hitting partner, but I didn't know I was going to practice with Roger and team and Medvedev, all these top guys. Roger, the last three days of the tournament, asked him to be his warm-up partner for the quarters, the semis, and the finals. I think that's the most nervous he's ever been in his life. Certainly, I think he's learned now that not only can he practice with them, but he can, he can give him a good run for the money, I think, starting pretty soon. Next year, I'd like to be top two, 300, and hopefully just keep going from there. 
once he finishes growing, gets kind of on par physically with these guys, it's gonna be really exciting for him. It's amazing to watch that growth. He has pretty lofty goals, and not knowing is even more fun, you know, just not knowing where it's gonna go.